in this context i am telling you the anthropology paper was not easy not tough but the student who prepared very well the the students who got proper mentorship or the, who got proper guidance and who themselves prepared well they are rocking in the examination after 5 o'clock nearly 10 to 12 calls i got i received i spoke with them everyone are happy the question paper went well and i will be discussing the total question paper right now from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock i discussed i made total ppt of all the answers for paper 1 but paper 2 no time but as much as i will be giving you the content of the question paper the complete discussion we will be doing with respect to paper 1 and paper 2 so anthropology paper also was been diverse anthropology question paper was also diverse from various fields from various units but the students who properly prepared who properly strategized their preparation who did proper answer writing practice they rocked the examination so now i am going to discuss the question paper and according to my opinion my rating the question paper is not easy not tough if it is easy it is one if it is very tough it is 10 i am rating it in between 6.5 is my rating my rating is 6.5 it is somewhere between average and tough in between it is average and tough but who prepared well they are performing very well so it is somewhere around 6.5 how evaluation might be don't worry about the evaluation you return the examination just forget about it at least for another 20 days anyhow there will be scaling will be there if you write properly you will be getting the better marks and very good marks only few questions were been unpredictable only few questions were been unpredictable like evolutionary theories of aging evolutionary theories of aging but how we have to do all this discussion i will be discussing in this particular session but finally but finally compared to 2020 mains question paper 2021 mains question paper is easy there is no googly type of questions like natufian culture ks singh nothing like that compared to 2020 the question paper is damn easy compared to 2020 comparatively but anthropology as a subject if i take i will be giving the rating one is easy and 10 is tough or hard and 6.5 i am giving the rating but compared to 2020 it is the easiest question paper compared with the 2020 question paper so the people who wrote mains this time are very lucky i hope 2022 also should repeat in the same format but however we have to have ups and downs it should be a roller coaster one year tough one year easy one year tough but we have to prepare the best on this note i am going to start the session the first question the compulsory question was been animism and deep ecology animism and deep ecology most of them believed that they are now the students who are going to write 2022 it's somewhat tough it is not tough animism and deep ecology animism is worship of soul and slowly slowly the soul took the shape of nature nature worship in this way the tribal people will be worshiping the soul worship and nature worship in this way the soul worship and nature worship both are going hand in hand hence this nature worship is called as deep ecology animism is also part of deep ecology which we covered in our test series this is the test series our answers which i which we provided this is in our daily answer writing practice also naturism you have to mention about you have to mention about animism and animatism is now the soul is entering into some forms the soul is entering into some forms it is called as animatum animatism and the soul is which is entering into the natural objects it is called as naturism both combination you have to write your answer what is animism deep ecology and its effect in dependence on the impact on animism means mainly naturism write about the new dimensions of animism in recent debates what is happening the worship of souls is reducing and everyone is going towards monotheism and polytheism the simple society religion is changing towards mainstream complex society religion that point also you have to mention and you have to give information that the animism and the naturism both are the religions of simple society and this is our test series question number two marriage regulations and alliance theory 
marriage regulations and alliance theory this marriage regulations and alliance theory you have to mention about the marriage regulations which is covered in our test series if you see you can also notice our watermark also this is one evidence prescriptive rules prescriptive rules rules preferential rules this was directly pre present and what is sorare type of marriage levere type of marriage which are part of this preferential types of marriage prescriptive type of marriages third question write about the principles of structuralism and explain the contribution of levi strauss and edmund leach yes structuralism structuralism i made a very good video on this structuralism it is present in the youtube also direct question direct question structuralism write about the structuralism and explains contributions and edmund leach historical particularism and franz bose everyone everyone franz bose is a person who gave the concept called as historical particularism who is an american anthropologist american diffusionist who told that every culture is because of three aspects one is historical aspects environmental aspects and culture and its psychological aspects these three together is responsible for the formation of culture which he also gave another def he also gave the another concept which is called as culture relativism by the franz bose every culture is because of its history that you will be mentioning in this particular topic historical particularism and franz bose in detail you will be mentioning about it main contribution about historical particularism by franz bose all the features of historical particularism in detail he is a first of all franz bose you will tell that a geographer turned anthropologist lot of time in my classroom also i used this as a fun a geography anthropology a geography student has been changed is optional to anthropology very frequently i will be telling so that the students will remember franz bose is an a geographer turned an anthropologist he is a person who gave the concept called as historical particularism and from the historical particularism he gave another which is called as cultural relativism that you will be explaining here see franz bose the father of american anthropology it is there in our test series as well in our classroom also yes see critically examine test 13 if you notice here it is test 13 question critically examine the historical particularism approach of franz bose direct question franz bose if you see this is a screenshot test series 13 you can see here it is done it is a pdf the biocultural approach is a hallmark of biological anthropology explain biocultural mainly you have to talk about biocultural approach adaptation you have to mention about what is adaptation what is biological adaptation what is genetical adaptation what is cultural adaptation biocultural approach is a hallmark of biological anthropology unit number 9.7 which is called as ecological anthropology in ecological anthropology you will talking about biological adaptations and cultural adaptations biocultural adaptation in detail you have to mention about it remember this is only for 10 marker so don't go in detail what is biocultural approach what is biological adaptations what are cultural adaptations in biological anthropology means how for the biological changes for various places how we are going to adapt biologically how we are going to adapt biologically how we are going to adapt culturally hot climate cold climate high altitude so biological adaptations and cultural adaptations you have to mention within two pages not complete answer 10 mark adaptation this table you draw first thermoluminescence dating method direct question thermoluminescence dating method a direct question which we expect but most of them will be reading radiocarbon dating method but we provided thermoluminescence also if you see absolute dating method carbon dating method is there potassium argon dating method is luminescence method is there thermoluminescence method see anthropology test series if you see here thermoluminescence is there we gave what are the physical and cultural characteristics of homo erectus every time i will tell you you have to remember about the homo erectus homo erectus are homo heidelbergensis in europe asia it is homo pecinensis homo javanicus in africa it is called as homo ergaster so these four species are part of homo erectus you have to mention about their physical features if you forget about cultural features i told that just remember lower paleolithic also whatever the culture features of lower paleolithic you have to mention here draw the diagram 2a 20 marker question it is 20 marker see anthropology test series describe the salient features and geographical distribution of homo erectus draw the diagram which is there in the notes 
So explain how my reference phylogenetic status from where to where. Scoop in phylogenetic status you have to draw here. Then physical characteristics, then cultural characteristics, and how it is evolved into Neanderthal. That you will be establishing in your answer. Yes, another video I am going to make. How should be the strategy for 2022? It is asked by Prakash Prajapati. Yes, pra Prakash. Today, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I will be coming up with a proper strategy how to prepare for 2022. Analyzing 2020 mains question paper and this also both tough question of tough question paper of 2020 and easy little bit easy question paper of 2021. Both we will be coming together with a strategy for 2022. Be ready. Elucidate the concept of thick description in the context of Clifford Gibbs. Most of them got shocked. It is not a shock. Thick description, Clifford Gibbs. I am showing you the answer. See here. This is my notes. If you see here, interpretative theory, which is given by Clifford Gibbs. The PDF will be provided in the respective Telegram channels where the link is there in the description. Given by Clifford Gibbs. In his essay, The Interpretation of Culture, according to Clifford Gibbs. Symbols have inherent meaning in it. Interpretation means inherent meaning. No, everything will be having inherent meaning. Is having inherent meaning. Every symbol, for example, food is one symbol, dress is one symbol, or some diagram is one symbol, art is one symbol. These all are symbols which are having inherent meaning in it. The interpretations of culture according to him, symbols have inherent meaning in it. These meanings are in the minds of the people, yes. For example, I told you in the classroom also, if this is what, or this is what, or this is what. For every symbol, we will have our own meaning which is present in our minds. It might be not only this symbol, not only religious symbols, it might be anything, art form. If I see snake also, if I am from Hindu, if I see, if I see a snake, I, I, it will have my own interpretation. It will be present in my mind that is discussed by Clifford Gibbs. So what is this thick description, sir? Which are the ways in which symbols operate within the culture, like how individuals see, feel and think. Culture like how individuals see, feel and think. The symbols enter the minds of the people through historical connection. What happened in my history? What happened in my history? According to which I will be having some interpretations, I will be having some meanings. So mainly what is present in the history is responsible for what is fixed in my mind. That is what which is told by this particular person called as Clifford Geats. Minds which are the ways in which symbols operate within culture, like how individuals feel, think. Here all symbols are actions of the people, yes. All symbols, my action will be according to my symbol. My actions will be according to my symbols. What is present in my mind, accordingly my, my action will be there. Oh, this is snake, I will be worshipping it. Why? Because it is present in my mind, I feel it, I perceive it. Accordingly, my action will be there. Clifford Gibbs told this all points you have to mention, man. Here, all symbols are actions of the people. People convey the meanings through their actions. Culture is like a text. Culture is like a book, like a text. Its members constantly read the text. The text has a form, the ideal, the real, the ethnographer's view, people's view actually should be taken into consideration. According to him, culture is the textual path and the symbol is their description. For Geet, symbols are vehicles of culture. Thick description. So that meaning you have to write. That meaning you have to write. Clifford Geet's interpretative theory. Very properly we discussed in our classroom. So according to Geet's anthropology should interpret the entire culture at once but not piecemeal. This is all thick description. The text is culture. Describe the features of early farming cultures, Neolithic of the near past, near east, mainly Neolithic cultures. Gordon Child discussed about the Neolithic, everything you will be mentioning about the Neolithic. Text. See, what stage is known as incipient stage of food production? Point out major features of this cultural stage, mainly Neolithic. We asked in test to two model answers. Test to two model answers. How do political organizations of simple societies establish power, authority and legitimacy? If you remember, in my class, whenever I teach, I, I, whenever I explain about the power, authority, legitimacy, when I will be explaining the different varieties of power, 
different lecturish matic power, different varieties of authority, different varieties of legitimacy. Then I told we want the examples from simple society. So in simple society, what is power? In Ashanti tribal community, the it's a matrilineal society, but the mother's son will be exercising the power, but when he loses the power will be given to sister's son. In that way, the authority will be flowing in simple society. In the same way, the power will be moving on. What is authority? Sometimes the priest, going on to tribal population, the priest will be having the authority. Legitimacy, the people will accept the traditional inheritance of power, which is called as legitimate power. Power, authority, legitimacy. Expected portion of unit number 4. Genetic mechanisms of micro and macro evolution, which is there in the textbook. The textbook which I provided you in the textbook, it is there. If you want, I can show it also. It is there in the textbook. Micro evolution is nothing but because of genetic drift, because of mutation, because of inbreeding. So, what are all the transformation which is happening is called as micro evolution. Macro evolution, where there is a big transformation. The big transformation is like change from Australopithecines to Homo erectus to Neanderthal to Homo sapiens. That particular major transformation which is occurring is called as macroevolution. Discuss the different traditions of European Mesolithic. In my discussion class of test series as well as in the classroom also, when I discussed about European Upper Paleolithic, we also discussed about European Mesolithic. Mainly with test series students, I forwarded this content I will show you see test series discuss briefly the major traditions in upper paleolithic culture of Europe when in the classroom when I am discussing this question paper when I am explaining about the upper paleolithic cultures of Europe why because you know lower paleolithic middle paleolithic upper paleolithic next is mesolithic so how this upper paleolithic culture of Europe has con converted or transformed into mesolithic cultures of Europe microliths some site names like Catalapenonin, Arignation, Gravation, Saltrian, Magdalenian. Elaborate the scope of anthropology and elucidate its uniqueness in the field of other social sciences, relationship with other disciplines. 1.3 with social sciences, with behavioral sciences, with life sciences, with medical sciences, with earth sciences, with the field of other social sciences, humanities. Explain the major branches of linguistic anthropology, unit number 7 and 1 point major branches, 1.3 D linguistic anthropology, 1 C direct question linguistic anthropology, critically examine the structure and content, content, content of language are influenced by the culture. Explain the major branches of linguistic anthropology, discuss language using social and cultural setting. This is the answer. Yes. Define anthropology, describe the major branches of anthropology, elaborating on one branch, elaborated on linguistic anthropology. Chromosomal aberrations can play havoc with the human body and mind. Explain with suitable examples. Chromosomal aberrations, you will be writing about structural aberrations as well as numerical aberrations. The question is about chromosomal aberration. So, you will draw the diagram, structural aberrations kya hai, numerical aberrations kya hai. Usme autosomal aberrations kya hai, usme sexual chromosomal aberrations kya hai. Why? Because the question is for 15 mark. You will draw the diagram first, then individual diseases you will be mentioning and what are the factors which are responsible for the occurrence of diseases. Mutation, genetic drift, inbreeding, migration, selection, this all you will be mentioning. Human adolescent growth spur, 5A. Human adolescent growth spur. So, this is human adolescent growth spur, growth. There is one diagram is there in 10th unit. It is up from my classroom. Yes. The losses and gains of erector posture. The losses and gains of erector posture means what happened to the human being and what whatever, whatever biologically where are where and all he lost it. Means uh, the occipital torus reduced, the, the supraorbital got reduced, the mandible got reduced, means the mandible got lost. The supraorbital ridges got lost, the cranial capacity got increased, and the foramen magnum got centrally located. The, the lumbar curve is been in cusp curve shape, and the, and the pelvis was been broad based so that the upper part of the body is been equally distributed on the pelvis, widening of the hip region. 
and the lower limbs became straight compulsory we have, it's expected question 1.5 is raise a valid and a biologically meaningful concept if you remember when i am teaching 9.5 race and racism after the end of the syllabus i gave one question it is there in your pdf also is race a biological concept or a sociological concept if biological concept how it is helpful is race a valid and a biologically meaningful concept is yes, biologically meaningful concept biologically meaningful concept but sociologically not meaningful concept first how to write dn majumdar definition of race or hutton definition of race how the race is classified the race is classified based upon the physical features so race is a biological concept it's valid because 1 2 3 4 5 6 you will be mentioning so if any physical features are present for example african population is having recessive sickle cell trait if in recessive sickle cell trait is a balanced polymorphism but it is benefit why because it is not occurring the disease however it is helpful in malaria resistant like that biologically good things you will be mentioning it bhutia tribal community is having resistance towards the covid so same biological gene if we find and if we put into all the populations that resistance will be increasing among the population race is a biological concept is 100% valid but race as a sociological concept is not valid why because it is leading to racism wo aapko batana chahiye yes i recommend you everyone come first you do all the previous years questions yes first preparation should be with previous years questions do previous years questions as well 100% those who did previous years questions of last 5 years from 2015 it is enough if you do all the previous years questions also you can do you can perform very well so mera andaza hai ki what i want to tell you finally is means the question paper is not that much easy or not tough but this optional this paper who did writing practice this who did writing practice on daily basis for them it is very much doable for them it is very much confident building confidence building measure it is it is a confidence building measure 100% so i recommend you everyone optional ke liye kaun si bhi optional ho for your optional do daily answer writing practice anyhow you know daily answer writing practice i will be evaluating on daily basis you can send me the answers but whoever are not my students also try to write daily answers that is a very good practice and one more thing i recommend some students are making notes in some soft copies some different different soft they are keeping in some pen drives no you have to write you have to make your own notes your pen your writing answer is very very important the hardship is very very important i recommend you at least for your optional make your own notes by writing is sufficient yogesh 100% sufficient and i recommend you don't go for 20 years papers also 10 years is enough as 7 years is enough why because the transformation happened from 2014 before that 300 marks was been there from 2014 it is only 250 marks so when it changed to 250 marks 2015 15 10 questions came into picture 10 marks question came into picture so from that time onwards if you do it is enough no need for 10 years 20 years also from 2014 it is enough and more but do properly write all the previous years questions descent groups please turn over descent groups in my october batch we completed last uh, thursday i think so friday saturday we gave all this uh, unilineal descent double descent ambilineal descent bilineal descent or bilateral descent this is what descent groups first you have to exp- first definition should be what is descent what are descent group how it is helping it is helping mainly with respect to establishment of residence after the marriage for how from whom we will be taking the property who are our social group whom we are going to contact after the any emergency situation that we will be explaining in this particular descent groups modes of subsistence yes modes of subsistence i gave exam also see write the characteristics of hunting and gathering economy in simple society model answer of test 11 but while i am discussing this test 11 i told particularly that not only hunting gathering do pastoralism do horticulture why because why because horticulture is why because horticulture is a previous question of 2013 pastoralism is also previous question so that is the reason he asked directly write about the modes of 
subsistence economic subsistences hunting gathering pastoralism horticulture fishing modern jobs into white collar jobs artisans so hunting gathering question it came what is acclimatization discuss adaptive responses to cold climate and high altitude the question is repeated it came earlier it came again ecological anthropology 9.7 about acclimatization adaptation physiological acclimatization non heritable biologically heritable socially heritable which is cultural which is genetical biologically heritable so in cold climate what are the biological adaptations what are the cultural adaptations in high altitude what are the biological adaptations what are the cultural adaptations you have to mention about that how are the disputes related to paternity resolved discuss the recent techniques paternity diagnosis nd tiwari classic example direct question test series 10 examine how paternity diagnosis help in solving medico legal cases of blood relations illustrate previous year question this is previous year question repeated paternity diagnosis medico legal cases again discuss the role of applied human genetics in paternity test number 11 this is test series 10 i believe two times so two times i asked it why because test 10 is only applications of anthropology test 10 test 11 is complete paper paper one comprehensive test there also i asked the same levis morgan levis strauss Levi Strauss, Levi Strauss, American classical anthropologist, American classical anthropologist in his book, in his book Ancient Society, he explained about the societal change. He is a person, Henry Morgan. He is a person, Henry Morgan. First, give introduction about him. Why? Because it is 15 marker, little bit one paragraph explanation about this gentleman, Henry Morgan. Then the, in the theory of social evolution, he mentioned about this famous theory of social evolution in which he explained about the family system. Yes, the question is about classification of family. So draw this diagram, draw this diagram and in this diagram, family, no family system, community or group living, polygynous family system, joint family system, nuclear family system. This, draw this. But you emphasize on this family system. I asked, how did Morgan explain the evolution of marriage, evolution of family, and social political organization? Test number eleven in comprehensive question paper. I asked it. Not only that, how did other evolutionists disagree, disagreed with this evolution? How did other evolutionists like how the new evolutionists disagreed with this? Critically evaluate different types of social stratification. You know. Social stratification was a universal question. Social stratification was the most expected question. Social stratification. Expected, expected question. Asking this question is not a wonder. <coughs> it is an expected question. So, three types egalitarian, rank based, class society, expected question it is. Understanding the approaches of social stratification, various reasons. Biocultural determinants of fertility and fecundity directly from my class notes. Define fecundity and explain the major factors affecting fecundity. This is all differential, biological, proportionate marriage, use of contraception, induced abortions, sterility, socio ecological, also women participating in workforce. This is all you have to mention. How the biological and social conditions are responsible for fertility and fecundity. What is anthropometry? I will explain you. Listen to my explanation. Anthropometry is nothing but measurements like nasal index, cranial index, stature. These are called as anthropometry. Measurements, measurements of biology, measurements of human organs, human biological conditions is called as anthropometry. Discuss the role in assessing the nutritional status and sports capability of a person with respect to the my anthropometry. Can anthropometry, the question is, see, the question linked with, first you have to mention about anthropometry, I told you once, first you have to start with, Franz Bose is the first anthropologist who studied about anthropometry, 
anthropometric studies, anthropometric techniques in the discipline of anthropology. You have to start with it and you have to give the definition of anthropometry. What are anthropometry you have to mention. Then how it is useful in nutrition is yes. weight, weight per age, height per age, weight per height, body mass index, body mass index. Sports capability, can anthropometry, what type of sports is useful? For my height, for my weight, what type of sports is useful? Can anthropometry. The girl can campaign, Saurya Paharyas, case study of Saurya Paharyas, this all you will be writing. Describe various tools of data collection, various tools, this all. What are the tools of data collection? Discuss the advantages and limitations of participant observance as a technique of data collection. All the data tools, this all. Observation, interview, questionnaire, schedule, case study, genealogical methods, life history, oral history, participatory appraisal, secondary sources. These all are tools of data collection. Expected question. Compare and contrast between questionnaire and schedule as tools of data collection. Test 11, test 13. Describe the physiological and evolutionary theories of aging. For this, for who do not know, I will be telling you. Physiological theories of aging is nothing but cellular theories of aging. Intracellular theories of aging, extracellular theories of aging and modern programmed theories. These three are physiological theories of aging or cellular theories of aging. Which I explained, right about aging and senescent, explain various theories of aging. So mainly aging is of two points, one is physiological aging and evolutionary aging. The question is about physiological and evolutionary theories. First come into physiological theories or cellular theories. One is intracellular theories of aging, extracellular theories of aging, modern theories. Theory of genetic blueprint by Thomas Hay Clifford. Theory of free radical reaction by Lester Packer. The error theories, the error in the genes. Collagen theory which is present between the cells, collagen, a protein yes element. Immunological theory, our own antibodies will be destroying our own antigens. Programmed age theory, chromosome number 21 is responsible for aging factor, variant is because of overuse of organs it is becoming old. These are physiological aging, but evolutionary theories of aging, this is something some students could not answer it, evolutionary theories of aging. Three theories are there, number one is the theory of programmed death suggested by August Wiesman, programmed death. The mutation accumulation theory of aging by Peter Medaver. The antagonist filiotrophy theory of aging by George Williams. Number one is the theory of programmed death suggested by August Wiesman. What is this? You know that every gene will be having expression. Every gene will be having the expression. That expression is called as allele. So when one expression is leading to a benefit, then there is a chance that another, another form of gene will be responsible for disadvantage. For example, I will tell you testosterone, if more testosterone is released, it will help in fertility. But if more testosterone is released, it leads to prostate cancer. So it is having positive, it is having negative. So because of the negative impact of the gene, because of the negative impact, what is happening is that is pleiotrophy, that is pleiotrophy, antagonist, one is positive, another is negative. First one is programmed theory, I will tell you. Aging occur to prevent the older generation from competing with younger generations. Means this person wanted, August Wiesman wanted to tell that it is a natural selection. It is a natural phenomenon that if old man becomes weak with his age, if a person become old, then he will not compete with the young people. So young people will be surviving. And this young people again they will become old and the new generation will be coming up. This is the process of natural selection for the sake of evolution, for the sake of survival, August Wiesman. So man will be becoming old then death. Man will be becoming old then death. That is what. Number two, accumulation hypothesis explains aging by the declining force of natural selection with age. Slightly deleterious germline mutations expressed in the old age can drift to fixation and means there will be with respect to age, 
aging happens so the mutation starts occurring because of the mutations the gene started working abnormally hence the response will be abnormal then the individual will become old aged secondly third production by single gene of two or more apparently unrelated effects as i told you testosterone a positive thing which is happening apparently a negative thing also will happen this negative effect which is happening will result in aging phenomena this is in the evolutionary process in this way the evolution happens and the man take birth becomes young then he becomes old then he dies then again so in the process of evolution this happens this is called as evolutionary theories of aging explain the structural analysis of kinship as proposed by levistros levistros view on affinal relation affinal means marriage relations affinal he believes that first male and female came together married and the children born so first is affinal second is consanguineous according to levistros and the major form of marriage system is exchange marriage exchange is happening so there is a restricted form of woman exchange there is a generalized form of woman exchange so the people when they are exchanging with whom they are exchanging there is a very good relationship but within the kinship there is no good relationship like yanamamo case study you have to mention this this case study you have to mention yanamamo is very very famous case study with respect to levistros he didn't study it but it is an apt case study for this understanding the levistros affinal relationship